Good evening all, and uh, welcome to a live chat. Uh, I'm, I've had a bit of a change around in the, uh, on the boat here to make way for my creative abilities. Uh, so that I've not quite got the cameras in the right position at the minute, uh, which makes me, I'm looking at the screen here, but I need to look there to read any messages. So, <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, what's been happening? Well, I've been working on on my exercise, I'm trying to keep my, uh, trying to do more steps each day, and it was going well. Um, but the last three or four days, I've kind of gone worse, and I've really struggled, and I've only managed to do half the steps during the whole day. So it, legs are really been uh, struggling with that. Um, but anyway, you, I think you can see by the sweat, bloody hot here. For those of you not in the UK, uh, it's, uh, I don't know what it is, it's about 25 to 30 degrees here. Probably a bit cooler now because it's evening, but um, it's, uh, it's not great. Uh, oh, I'm hoping uh, you can hear me okay, see me okay, and uh, we don't have any uh, issues with the uh, streaming. Um, I don't think we will. Picture might be a bit screw with. You have to bear with me with that. As you can see down here, I've got some of my artwork I've been busy on. I've been creating prints from uh, work that I've done and uh, mostly in uh, uh, seven by fives in a nine by seven frame. Oh, hi, Joy Lee. Hi, Jason. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, um, Sean from the Hot Channel um, um, mentioned a few people who have been a bit worried about me, so he gave me the push to do a video for tonight and uh, hopefully there'll be a few more. Um, just a matter of uh, thinking what I'm going to talk about. You have to excuse me. <laughs> Got false teeth at the top. I think the glues with the heat, the glues, glues melted. <laughs> right. <laughs> if the fallout, you know what it is. So I'm going to wait until a little bit later, then I'm going to share some of my artwork, let you see some of that, what's all been framed up. Um, yeah, I'll wait until see if there's any more joiners. Um, might not be, it might be too warm, there might not be, uh, there might be uh, sunning themselves or having a barbecue. Uh, too hot for me out there. Mine is, looks to be a bit of a breeze. I uh, got the uh, cover open on the boat here. The duck hatch I've got closed because the sun's coming in that way at night and uh, I'm not sure whether it's going to make the boat warmer or uh, or not or, cool, whether it, or whether there'll be a breeze that comes through. Maybe in a little while, I might open it for an hour when the sun's gone down a little bit more. It's uh, on the boat. I don't know, I've got some money. Oh, yeah, I've got some money to over here. Let's have a look. Okay. 95 Fahrenheit for you 
and that is um oh the writing's gone off but it i think it's about 30 33 degrees something like that in celsius that's uh it's warm but it has been up to 40 in the boat but um I think it's going to be bad next week. I heard a rumour that the weathermen think it's going to be, that it's going to be hotter next weekend than this weekend in the beginning of this week. And that's, and it's forecast 30 outside. So, um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> Thank you for those. I can see we've got five people now watching, so uh, all six. Uh, thank you, um, you know, for watching. Um, if some of you I know probably watching on TV and you can't reply, um, I'm in the Midlands, uh, Joy, um, on the border of Leicestershire, Northamptonshire. Can you, you, I don't know what, you might be able to hear the birds outside, I don't know, but the, it's the goldfinches are really vocal, there's lots of them. Yeah. Oh, we've got a few more joining. I just need to have a quick uh, sip. Sorry, folks. Hello, Raphael. Oh, I'm uh, I'm not working, uh, Jason. Um, I've I'm on the sick because I can't. Uh, I'm struggling to walk um, any uh, distance in one go. Um, because of long COVID, um, so uh, you can get. I can uh, walk a few yards, um, and then I get. I can get to my car. Uh, then I have to have a little break before I start driving, and um, and it's just a matter of breaks and um, and just uh, persevering, really. Um, but. Uh, yeah, it's not great. Um, it's like, I don't know how you could explain it. Probably if you've done, if you've ran a marathon maybe, or you've walked over the mountains for 20 or 30 mile, and uh, and then you, uh, you know, um, and you're not exceptionally fit, then uh, you'll know how it feels and that's how I am each day um, I know because I used to do that sort of thing also if I was I remember you know when, when I did when I used to do over 100 mile cycle rides um, I'd be probably feeling like this the next day um, so yeah it, it's not good Right, we've got 12 people in now. Uh, would you, 13 now. Would you like me to share some of my artwork with you? Just seeing if anyone replies. Thank you, Joy, about being in a nice part of the country. Jason, no, I've had to sell it. I couldn't get on with the bike. Um, no, it's too hard. The tricycle. Okay, right. Right then, folks, I'm going to show you the portrait stuff first. Oh, I know. So, 
you should be out this should show up nicely um because it's printed on a matte board nine by seven for, uh, mount seven by five print and we've got a variety of these let me just there we are these are all for sale 10 pound each Sorry. This is one of my watercolors what I've done in my in my um, proper watercolors in my sketch pad. It's one of about 15 what I've done. Um, but I've got to um, scan the rest properly. One of my line um, work in uh, squirrel, red squirrel. Or mouse. A pheasant. This has been uh, done in a, it's been done on the computer and it's, uh, well, you need to look close to see that it's, it's a unique, uh, a unique picture. One from the seaside, this was a chroma. She's on the east coast in uh, England. And we've got, uh, got three photos I'm sharing with you now. Um, this was from my garden, a tulip. I took the photo and I grew the, the tulips. This photo, uh, picture, this I took at a um, horticultural show. I think it was Malvern, and uh, yeah, very nice shot as the dahlias. Red fox. Uh, this one I think I was taking up when I was walking um, near Edal in the uh, Dark Peak. A poppy, this is actually a, a, a it's in a watercolour style. Again, it was my photo at the top. And I grew the poppy. Tulip. And one of my uh, daily, um, I think it was in a uh, watercolor pencil, um, which I originally did in about A3 size. Nice little kittens. 
No, I think we'll leave that one. Uh, Ren? This one's with the signets. Cockroll. Just a butterfly in a style of its own. Kingfisher. And this was just a dragonfly scene. Right, folks, I was just worried in case I'd stop recording. Because I've just pressed the remote by mistake. I don't think I have. Um, oh. So this is larger. This is done in a, um, an A4 size. I'm not sure what the mount is there is more um I've, but uh, that's all i've got to show you at the moment and i think uh hang on let me just have a drink i think you've probably uh some of you have had enough anyway because we've gone down to six from uh 14 so i'm sorry for uh boring some of you As far as it as far as it goes on the boat, it's been. Uh, I've, I'm getting into routine now. And uh, so, uh, with my friend Jan, who helps me with the cleaning, and we've become friends, so we go out and about. Um, it's made life a lot easier. She encourages me to try and do a bit, you know, to try and recover, which is good. <laughs> Sean, you're nuts to be cooking. <laughs> well, if you were on a boat, you would be. <laughs> Uh, I made do with the cafe uh, earlier on. I don't know whether you saw my artwork, Sean, I just showed everyone. And I've just... <laughs> my teeth keep dropping down. The heat's melted the glue. <laughs> No, Jason, fish and chip van stopped uh, oh, a good few weeks ago. They've just started a pizza van now on a uh, Friday evening, but I don't like them. Uh, and yes i know what you mean our changing views um i'm going to open the duck hatch um soon um to get some air flow because the sun's going down now and uh, then that will warm that will cool things down um but when i've had it open in the day uh, the sun's just been um coming through and uh it's, it's warming the place up that end of the boat should be cooler. Um, I've just got to <laughs> remember to look at camera, sorry. Um, yeah, because I've got the windows covered. Um, uh, so it's all dark and it's always cooler down there. 
Um, I have got a window open in the, uh, well, I have got windows, well, that window and a window in the kitchen open. Um, and this is the cover on the uh, front of the boat is all open. Um, it's just that the wind's not blowing in that direction. Uh, thanks, Happy David. Um, yeah, hopefully um, Nigel will do some uh, more apple tasting this year. Uh, who knows, maybe he'll come over to the uh, marina and do some here. Uh, there is room where we could do one in the lounge. Uh, there might be a few people uh, watching or wanting to join in, but it will just make it a bit more interesting. Um, yeah. So we'll see. Still a bit early for the apple tasting, but it won't be long. I bet it'll probably be a couple of weeks before the early start coming. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Yeah, electric fans, yeah. Um, I have actually got one in the cupboard, um, which I could get out. Uh, I think I'm just going to wait for it to get that bit more warmer and then I, pop, I, I might very well use it. Um, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I've, um, I'm quite pleased with... Uh, my creative side, I've kind of, you can't see it, but in front of me here, everything's in plastic boxes, all labelled up um, with the different types of um, card, what I use, um, thicknesses, bags, mounts, um, different uh, size um, papers, you know, so some are kind of... Um, a3, I'm not sure what that is in US sizes, um, 12 by 17 inch, something like that. Um, but I'll go down to 7 by 5 inch. Um, and that seems to be my favourite one at the minute. I've um, got A5, which is kind of, I think 7 by 5 is more of, was the US standard. Over here, it's more A5. Um, I've got both. Um, I've got a variety of different sizes, so I want to do, but mostly all smaller pieces because of the state of the um, economical climate. People just haven't got the money to spare on uh, luxuries and stuff, so uh, that's why I'm working on smaller things. I'm just checking on the messages, folks. Um, yeah. It's quiet on the marina today because quite a lot of people have uh, gone away for two or three days, you know, for the weekend, um, because we've got people who live here all the time, but then there's also people who uh, just keep the boats here and then they, they'll come and uh, maybe use it at the weekend or the might maybe go away for a week or two holiday. Uh, I'll change views. Yes. Um, I'm going to be putting this all on my Etsy um, store, which I've just reactivated. Um, but it's going to take me a while to get them on. Um, and I'm just thinking what it's called. Right. If you do a search for Drake Shire Creations on Etsy, I think you'll find it. Um, 
but there's not much on there at the minute because I've um, I haven't put the stuff back on. There's none of the prints yet, but um, hopefully uh, in this next week they'll be on. It depends on really depends on the on the weather. Um, or maybe I could do it maybe in the lounge because it's cooler there than on the boat. And then I can, because when it's hot, it's a bit hard to uh, concentrate. And when you're putting stuff on Etsy, there's so many um, things to fill in. You can soon make a mistake. And uh, I don't want that happening. Hi, Patricia. Also, my work will be on Facebook. Um, if you've got Facebook, our Changing Views or anyone else. Um, if you look for Leicestershire, Julie, Julie Drake, Leicestershire Artist on Facebook, that's my page. And I try and upload all my images up onto there. Um, so that's another place where you will see them before you see them on Etsy. tend to do my show sometimes work in progress and I share everything photos um, on there you know photos and artwork so time for another drink folks we're back to 13 oh that's lovely um I'd stopped drinking for quite a few years, uh, but now I'm having just the odd one. Um, well, may maybe a couple of week, and uh, usually share one with my friend Jan, and um, and I've got uh, sometimes I'll have the occasional one myself. But uh, I thought they were the only cool thing what I got at hand because they were in the fridge. So um, that's why I'm having one now to cool me down. I hope you uh, are all doing okay. Those of you who are in the UK, I hope, uh, hope the weather's not uh, too hot for you. I know uh, it's totally different up northern England. Um, they're like... Some parts of Cumbria are only about 10 degrees, whereas it, you know, down here, it's up to about 30 it's been today. So quite a bit of difference. That's Celsius, quite a bit of difference, which is, uh, I don't know what that equates to, about 50 Fahrenheit to 90-something. That's the difference between North and South. That's just an appropriate, approximate uh, calculation. <laughs> yes, Jason, so I hear. Um, but there is a... Um, there is a question by some of the weather uh, meteorologists that next weekend we could be in for very hot time um well, i've checked on the weather and it's not been updated yet um but they think uh, it's going to be a lot hotter than what we're having it at the moment and i think it could be for the whole of the uk um so we'll see i'm hoping it's not I never thought I'd, I'd say that. I used to love the heat, but uh, I don't anymore. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. Those of you who have joined in late, I've already shared all my artwork, so you'd have to watch this from, the, from um, a few minutes in the video to... Uh, um, to actually see what I've shown you. I have got a little fan. I don't know where it works. It was left, it was on the boat when I bought the boat. Um, but uh, 
I'm all right at the moment, I think. I know I've got a bit of sweat on, but uh, I'm not too bad. And, and actually, there was just a touch of breeze coming through then. Hello, Jason. Yeah, I can imagine. Must be terrible because you... It's not like it used to be for these outside jobs and that. You used to be able to, uh, you know, dress accordingly, but now you've got to wear all the protective clothing. And uh, it's not great, is it? Um, you must be all sweltering. When I did, um, not long after I left school and that, did some uh, temporary gardening at a hospital, just uh, in shorts and t-shirt, and it was great. No, Patricia, I can't, um, believe it or not, um, use the boat. Uh, my insurance won't allow me to to drive it without an experienced um, pilot, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so, no, I'm, I'm not too fussed, to be honest. I'm quite, there's enough going on here. Um, bits and bobs and I, I go out most days in the car so uh you know I, I, I am seeing different areas and uh there's so much on the marina to see and do and yeah it's fine yeah jason who is just saying that uh on his job, it's uh, been, it was so hot. It's up north, so it's a bit cooler there today. And, uh, yeah, uh, plenty of drinks. I agree. I've, I've got my water here. I always tend to have around 10 two-litre bottles of water on the boat here, plus some other drinks. Um, I've kind of I've moved away from the... Uh, I used to drink a lot of... Um, um pepsi and um stuff like that but uh, i've gone mostly onto water now uh still got the belly but uh <laughs> yeah can't uh can't help it all the time thank you patricia yeah it's it's good to get out and about um well, you know, they had a, there was the, uh, a, a breakfast, Sunday breakfast happened, uh, <laughs> yeah, chocolate. I don't eat as much chocolate now as I used to either. Um, that's gone, some days I don't have any at all. Um, there's, you know, so I've even got, I had some weeks where I've had no, no chocolate, so, um, Yeah. Um, but I have been uh, going to the the cafes and the pubs for a bite to eat a bit more than usual. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Patricia, that draw under your desk. Oh, unless you've seen my photos. Um, it's not so much a draw. It's a, it's a, I don't know whether you, I've got all these really useful boxes, the plastic boxes in A4, A3, A5 and uh, different sizes, um, all under here. Um and down here, um, which you can just see a little bit. There's a lot of um, A3s and 12 by 12s there. Um, every little bit of space is being used. Oh, 
yeah, I see what you mean now with the chocolate. Yeah, um, it's above the um, actually above the oven. Um, I could um, get the duck uh, the boat turned around so the duck duck hatches uh, on the opposite side. Um, I think I prefer it where it is because if you have it on the other side, there's a boat which is literally. Um, is not very far away from me. Um, now, because I'm a liverboard, they are just a temporary, they just stay there temporarily. Um, so they could, they'll come for like the odd few days and that. Um, but the boat's really close. And uh, if I have the duck hatch open, um, if I'd move the boat round, I'd be getting the heat coming off that boat um, it would radiate it off and it would come into the into air. So um, so that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Plus, having it this way round, I can look out and I can even have my camera and I can uh, take pictures of the birds. So I've got a um, butterfly plant bush out there couple of them and uh, at the moment the goldfinches just love it and uh, to be honest with you I just watch them because uh, I've got quite a few photos uh, I will take some more sometime yeah Now, before I forget, I have plans of doing some traditional painting again. Um, it's not going to be on big um, canvases and that. It's going to be um, I've got um, I've got some canvas type paper and I've got thick watercolor paper. What I can use for acrylics. I bought it this way because of space. If I work on canvases or even canvas panels, they soon mount up. Excuse me, it's the beer. Um, so I'm using thick-ish paper now. And I've got, I've replenished my art supplies pretty well. So I've got watercolors and acrylics and pens um, all here. Um, I will use that, I will do some of that when it gets a bit cooler. Um, and I, I was going to get an A3 scanner, folks, but I got let down three or four times. And I need that size to scan my, um, my traditional paintings, what I will be doing. Um, but eventually I just got fed up and I cancelled the order. Um, because it's it was meant to be in, um, here in a couple of days, and then after two weeks, it still hadn't been dispatched, and um, you know, just not good enough. And that, and that was on Amazon. And I haven't been able to find anywhere where I can get one from. Which is, uh, they don't seem to, uh, at the lower end of the, let me say, at the lower end of the professional, you know, for doing uh, copies of paintings, watercolours, acrylics and stuff, um, there isn't much choice out there. Um, and the one I was after was a plus deck, um, but in the UK, no. Um, it's probably, I don't know, maybe I've got to start looking in the, uh, over at the 
in the USA, but then you you pay quite a bit on the postage and the custom duties and stuff. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, um, some of my work's going to be shown in the local cafe, which is good. They're going to put some up on the walls. Um, so I'll have to see see how that goes. I think she's going to do it, put some up this week. She's going to get some frames for my, because I've, I've passed on some work which you've not seen. I've shown you this lot, but there was another pile which I left with her. And she'll she'll buy the frames and that, and she'll uh, put them up and advertise them. No, no, Patricia, uh, Paula just disappeared. Um, when my mum died, um, um, year last April, uh, I never heard from her again. Don't, I'm not sure what I did to upset her or what. I don't know. I was uh, quite um, down in the dumps at that particular time, so um, that was probably didn't help matters. All right, I've made um, friends on the marina, see people, people pop in uh, on the boat, and uh, I see people in the lounge, and uh, and I say, uh, friend Jan, she. Uh, I might see her some some time, sometimes three or four times a week, you know, different days. Um, she comes and helps me with the cleaning a couple of days a week. Um, and then we'll go out and about and, uh, you know, sometimes if she needs something, uh, I might tag along with her or she'll tag along with me if I'm driving somewhere. Um, I do like my fish and chips, so uh, sometimes, uh, you know, if she needs some shopping, she'll come with me, and uh, while I nip in the chip shop, she'll go in the supermarket. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it works well. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I mentioned before the one of the big problems I was having was the um, the toilet cassette on the boat and it needed emptying, and I didn't have the strength. But uh, what we do now is um, uh, twice a week um, when when uh, Jan comes, um, I go and empty it. She just tags along in case, um, just to make sure I'm not like collapsed or anything <laughs> uh, and um, and then she'll go off and check on her partner and uh, see if there's any post and what have you and uh, I'll get it emptied and then we'll move on do something else you know whether it might be a bit of shopping or um, what have you and because it's twice a week it's not so not so heavy and uh, and it's a routine now what I've got into um so yeah so it, it, it's a lot better yeah oh thank you patricia i'm sorry that sometimes <laughs> i've been very um very low uh, i can see i've got rosy cheeks also, um, I got persuaded to dye my hair, so uh, so that's probably helped a little. No one's noticed so far on the marina, or if they have, they've not said anything. <laughs> Hi Deborah. 
it's um it's very warm that wrong about um it was um around 90 32 celsius uh, a little while back um there was one day when it was hotter a week or two back um it reached 40 celsius on the boat There's not much, not much to uh, Sorry folks, <laughs> my cousin was ringing, I'll ring her back in a bit. Um, well, Sean, the temperature here when I went out on the in the car, it was saying um, that it was thirty degrees. Now, according to the temperature on the app, it was saying it was twenty four. So um, somewhere around the two, but I think nearer the thirty. It's been, and uh, yeah, it's uh, warm on the boat. <laughs> yep, my um, my um, Ninja uh, grill is great. I use it every day. Um, trying to be a bit a little bit healthier at the moment, so I've been. Um, Having toast the last two or three days for breakfast instead of um, bacon and sausage and what have you. Uh, I haven't used the big ninja yet. Uh, I think that's I'm going to save that to um, when it's a bit cooler and I can do my stews and my goulashes and my braising steak and and you know just play around with it and experiment a bit more. Thank you, Deborah. Uh, yeah, I know. Sometimes I've I've been down. Um, I've got to try and make an effort of um, being more brighter. I'll tell you what, though, it's difficult. These teeth keep falling down. So I'm a bit. I'm trying to uh, not open my mouth too much. Uh, it's the bloody heat. It's melted the melted the glue. <laughs> Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'm quite um happy with um my layout as it is. Um as I said I did change things around in the last um two weeks. Over the last two weeks, there's been a complete sort out to, to make it more organised. So all my plastic boxes here are all labelled up. Um, so I can see what's inside. Um, one or two I've got to put, I haven't done yet, but majority are. That's good. Uh yeah, um, what else to say, folks? It's, it's certainly peaceful at the weekend. In the week, it's a bit noisier because over, just over there, uh, just across the water there, is where the main office is and... Um, that's why they work on the boats, you know, they might do the servicing, maintenance, um, they'll do the blacking of the boat, they might spray the boats, you know, so they're always busy, so it can be quite noisy when they're jet washing the boats, you know, when they're out of the water and that. Um, but it, that doesn't bother me too much. Um, most of the time it's been when... Uh, um, 
when the windows have been shut, so uh, it, it blanks them out a bit. Oh, thanks, Sean. Yeah, that wildlife on the... Yeah, well, we've got somebody on the marina here who actually films um, the otters and the... Um, um, the fox, uh, various other animals at night. Um, so he shares the videos, which is quite good. Um, I haven't used my uh, camera. I must set it up and see if there's anything around here. Oh, Deborah, the, my boat has been moved from, well, I don't know when it was, January or February time. Um, used to be the other side of Marina, but I couldn't walk to where the car was parked. Um, so I've, I've moved nearer to the office and the workshops because there was a space available with parking. Um, so yeah, the boat has been moved. Don't normally have a problem with my teeth, Deborah. Uh, I think it's just because it's been so warm. Um, I can only assume the, the glue is melted. Normally it's still sticky in the evening. Um, it might be just a one-off today, who knows. Okay, uh, changing uh, views. Um, thanks for watching. Enjoy the uh, rest of your day. Um, and yeah, I can assure you there will be cooking videos, but I probably won't be filming anything until it gets a bit cooler. Um, You're doing well then, Deborah. Anyone got any questions, folks? Don't know how long we've been talking for tonight. Just noticed there's nothing showing me on my stream. The length of the, uh, the length of the chat used to be. How strange. Oh my. I think it was about seven, wasn't it? What's it now? Oh, it's been an hour. <sighs> Not used to talking for this long, folks. Uh, well, occasionally I talk to, to my cousin. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, not, not much for an hour. More and more people joining. Uh, for those of you just joining, folks, I've, sh I've uh, shared all my artwork, all this, uh, this what you can see here, um, early on in this live chat. So if you want to see some of that, you need to look back at this uh, video. I believe the, um, the chat should also be um, 
should be available as well if I've if I've done it right. Just me a reminder, folks, uh, taking tablets. Still got it set for when I was on antibiotics. Ooh. Oh. I tell you what, folks, it's been lovely. Um, I've, I've got myself a chair, and I, sometimes I sit outside and uh, I just watch the fish in the in, on the marine in the marina here. And we've got shoals of baby ones. Then we've got shoals where they're about six inches, and then we're slightly bigger. And then there's half a dozen which are about two feet, um, about 60 centimetres long, and they're quite colourful and uh, quite a, quite a uh, quite something to watch. Oh, thank you for joining us, Deborah, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, I am running out of things to say now, folks, so unless you've got something to ask me, I'm going to say good night. And just hang on, see if there's any questions or anything. No, it's definitely not 24 minutes, uh, Patricia. I've been on for an hour. Started the live chat, just gone seven. Thank you, Deborah. I'm glad you like my artwork. And uh, do a search for, um, well, in about a week's time, Drakeshire Creations on eBay. You should find my store. Um, as I say, there's not anything really on it at the moment. Um, but um, I'm, I've got all this. I've taken photos and I've got to put it all up on there. Yeah. Okay, folks, that's it. I can see uh, people are disappearing and didn't appear to be any more questions. So I'm going to wish you all good night. Thank you all for joining in this chat and uh, hopefully I'll uh, have another one to share with you um, soon, uh, maybe with some more artwork to uh, share with you if you want to see it. Okay. Oh, thank you, Sean. That's lovely to hear. I was not sure whether it uh, might have been a bit of a disaster tonight, but a bit out of practice, but maybe not too bad. Okay, bye all.